Hey guys, today I'm going to make these uh, crescent rolls, Pillsbury, Pillsbury crescent rolls made with Hershey's chocolate. And uh, these were $1.67 at Meyer. They look pretty good. Uh, they're 110 calories per roll. So the directions say um, no cholesterol. That's a good thing. Uh, the directions say to basically open the package up or heat your oven to 375. So we got our oven preheated. Um, it says to grease a cookie sheet. We're going to use just one of these um, sheets of parchment paper on a baking sheet. That's what we're going to use. We'll see how it works out. Um, they might all stick horribly. I don't know. Uh, there's the, the actual crescent mix. And here is the chocolate um, sauce. And it's cold. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work it. It doesn't say to work it to your hands, so I'm going to warm it up a little bit in my hands while I'm going. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to open this uh, dough container up. Separate them into eight triangles. We're going to squirt half of this filling. It says into a figure eight um, on the dough, like a, just a figure eight. I guess that's kind of regulate how much you put on there. So put in a figure eight, roll the dough up, and um, yeah, it says do not microwave the pouch, but you do have to warm it up. It will never squeeze out of here. Um, and then we're going to roll them up, put them on the cookie sheet, make them into a crescent, and then bake them. So that's kind of the rough directions for it. Like Tammy said she's just gonna squeeze this while I'm, or hold it in her hand or something while I'm doing this. So this is like a whack biscuit can. We call them whack biscuits because when they won't open, you whack them on the counter. Um, if you grab, usually has a, a little arrow there, you grab the end and pull them and they pop and they usually scare you. Or they don't open at all. So, I just usually twist them and they pop open. I've just got a little like a platter here. I'm just going to put them on too. And like I said, it makes eight. The platter, this platter won't be big enough to do all of them, but I'll do a few at a time. Right there. Um, and none of these ever look, they're always skewed. I never know which way to roll them. I'm thinking I roll them long ways like this. So let me have my chocolate thing. Open here. Nope. See, I would do it exactly the opposite of you. What? And you know what? It shows you on here, though, the the long end into the point. Yeah, like this. See, I would have done it exactly the opposite. What, I would have done it wrong. Way? No, I would have done the point rolled up into the long end. No, it's supposed to be skinny on the end. I, I know. I'm just saying I would have done that completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been wrong. I don't know how I'm going to get this into a figure eight, but we'll... I guess like that. Yeah. Is that how you write your eights? <laughs> no. When you're when you're writing them with a pencil, is that how you do it? I'm just gonna get some stuff on here. We'll just if it's not a figure eight, then I'm not worry about. Hey, right, Tammy's gonna hold that. I'm just gonna roll these four up, and then uh, then I'll do the rest of them off camera. But basically, just take it from the flat side, the the furthest away from the end, and. Roll them up loosely. It says don't roll them up tightly. Roll them up loosely. And then put them on your pan and then make them into like a crescent shape. So you kind of bend them around like that. Make them pretty. Yeah. And it really doesn't say how far to separate these. It just says place them, place them on the pan. It really doesn't say how far to space them. I don't know how... I'm sure they puff up and get a little bigger than they are, but... I think you'll be able to fit eight perfect on that pan. Yeah. So I'm going to do the rest of these, and uh, they bake in the oven for 10 to 13 minutes until they're golden brown, and then you take them out and you let them cool for two minutes. So I'll be back when they come out of the oven and uh, let you see what they look like. Just real quick, I just set the chocolate packet in a cup just to hold it in place, because you, you reserve half of this, just in case you, I didn't say it clearly. You only use half in the actual rolls. Um, the other half you're going to drizzle on the top. So make sure you save your half. Just stick it in a cup or something to keep it from, from falling over or anything. So I'm going to get these in the oven now. And take them out of the oven. 
They oozed. <laughs> there they are. They smell like biscuits, honestly. <laughs> they do smell like biscuits. Turn the oven off. Um, so I'm going to let these cool a little bit before I drizzle chocolate on Because if I drizzle chocolate over now, it's just going to run everywhere. Um, I'm going to let them cool off for just a minute, and then I'll I'll move them over. They they look really good, though. Mm -hmm. They're a little hot. But um, I'm going to let them cool off for just a minute. I'm, well, actually, I'll probably move them over to the plate. And then let them cool for just a minute, and then I'll um, put the chocolate on top and try them out. So I'll be back. Okay, it said to cool them for two minutes, so they've been cooling for about two or, two or three minutes. So now I've just taken and rolled up the rest of this package and gotten the chocolate around. And you're just going to really, you know, they say drizzle. You're really just going to kind of squirt some on there. I mean, you, there's no way you can drizzle. It's like a toaster strainer. Yeah, it's too thick to... But they give you quite a bit of chocolate. Well, it depends on how much you've left from the inside, too. Yeah, which I think I used a fair amount. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to run out. Yeah, that's probably enough. This isn't something you would want to make uh, if you needed something quick, though. No. No, that's... I mean, it hasn't taken forever, but it's just not... It's not as quick as grabbing a donut. Yeah, or a toaster strudel or something like You're that. Right, a toaster strudel is much quicker. Yeah, that one's not as pretty, but... Okay. So uh, I'm going to get Tammy to switch the phone, the camera around and so we can try these together. And here uh, I am. <laughs> just grab whichever one you want. Um, these, I wondered how that, when he said they were only 110 calories, it surprised me. But it's because they're, they're small. You know, these aren't great big things. It definitely has a chocolate flavor, but they're kind of bland. You think? I think they are. Do you think they're good? Mm-hmm. I think they're kind of plain. I think it's good. I like the, um, um, I don't know that I would want to eat this cold. Mm -hmm. Like if you made them and then you were to save them in a Ziploc bag or something, I don't think they would heat up well. No. Reheat. And I don't think they would necessarily be good cold. I think you're, this is something that you're going to want to eat straight out of the oven. Um, I didn't get a piece that was just plain without any syrup. Is that what you're talking about? Or do you think the I syrup think the is whole plain? thing is plain. Okay. I think the, the breading is very, very plain. I mean, there's very little flavor to it. And with as much grease as it had greasy feeling, you think it had a ton of flavor to it, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate is just okay. It's not, I expected it for it to be Hershey's chocolate, for it to be a really yeah, strong really, Hershey's, really good Hershey's chocolate. chocolate. And it's not, you really don't get that strong Hershey's chocolate flavor mm -hmm. like you would in one of their candy bars. Um, kids would like this. I think kids would like this. I think kids would probably like to help you. Yeah, squirt the chocolate on, yeah. roll them up, that it's kind of stuff. It's going to take you twice as long, but it might be right. fun. I think definitely given the choice for me between these and like the cinnamon rolls, I would uh, pick the cinnamon rolls all day long. Yeah, these, I personally, as an adult, would not buy these. But no, if I, I had, wouldn't buy these again. If I had children and they like chocolate and they, they eat crescent rolls before, then I would, you know, try it out for them and see if they like them. But, right. but as an adult, I don't like these. Well, it's not that they're bad. It's just that they're they're just nothing. Yeah, there's, there's nothing. better things for 110 they're, calories. Yeah, <laughs> now they were cheap. I think they were only like $1.67. $1. Yeah. So they're very, very cheap. So you get what you pay for. Yeah. So, there you go. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the process of making these. And thanks for watching.